the Congressional Review, when the Republicans controlled the Senate Judiciary Committee under Lindsey. Lindsey! Lindsey, where are you, Lindsey? Everybody's friend. It's very annoying, Lindsey, quite frankly. So they want to steal congressional seats. Steal the vote, ladies and gentlemen. But nobody is concerned, no. No, no, because they're the good guys. They're on the right side. The Democrats, the American Marxists, that's good. So Action stations! If people's votes won't count because of the way the redistricting... New York is so friggin' corrupt... The Republicans might have three seats by the time it's over. Out of what, 22, something like that? They lose population. And so the Democrats have perfect opportunity. Illinois. Another corrupt Anti-aircraft gun on full alert. Where people can't wait to get the hell out. Same thing. California, same thing. Same thing. Enemy target spotted. Now, when the Republicans thought, whoa, you're discriminating. What? Yes. 1965 Civil Rights slash Voting Rights Act. You're doing this to discriminate against black people. No, 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 no. We want to get out our vote too. No, it's clear. You're white supremacists. You're Klansmen. We're taking you to court and we're going to stop you. That's how they abuse the law. With the power of the Civil Rights Division, which is the really Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice, which is loaded with radical leftists from throughout the decades. I remember when I was at the Department of Justice, one of the people there was there since Robert Kennedy was Attorney General of the United States, Mr. Producer. Go way back. Because they don't want to leave. They have enormous power, you know. Enemy aircraft incoming! Maybe they're waiting for a judge. That could be it, too. I'll be right back. Mark Lovin. I won't be here the rest of the week. We will have a great uh, guest host. Nice shot! Uh, but I will not be here. I want to say uh, a special happy birthday Slump. she makes us proud every day she's turning into a beautiful young lady she is the daughter of my daughter and my son it will be Lauren and Nick and she is just precious as is her little brother Asher and we are blessed to have And uh, Grandpa hopes to see you soon. Torpedoes! Yes, and we shall. Whoopi Goldberg, I said enough yesterday. I spent a lot of time on this yesterday. Would you do me a favor, Mr. Producer, and send a clip of that to Dana Perino? I think she might actually be, you know, be interested in that, just out of curiosity. I um, think she might like to know what I said about it. Uh, in any event, um, Whoopi Goldberg says now she understands. I don't get this. What is she, 73 years old or something? What, however old she is. She's gone through life and didn't understand that Hitler called Jews the inferior race and Nazis the superior race. She doesn't even have a clue what the Holocaust was about. She went through life like that. And this is the thing. I think a lot of people do, particularly on the left, because they keep calling us Hitler and stuff like that. When we support liberty and the Constitution and a smaller central government and a just law enforcement that protects the people and a military that protects us from Marxists and fascists and other ists, I mean, seriously. She's on the view because supposedly people want to hear her view. Our team is about to win. was outrageous. Target hit. Now, there's this campaign to get... I discussed all this yesterday already, and I see the backbenchers. But let me just go on. Campaign to get Joe Rogan and so forth. Joe Rogan never said anything like this. 
And yet, Whoopi Goldberg, does she understand the last name that she adopted, Mr. Medusa? Hit the enemy! Goldberg. Good job! That's not her real name, folks. It was a joke. Whoopi Goldberg. That's her official name. We hit does the enemy! Apparently not. Then she goes on Stephen Colbert's show, whose real name is Colbert, his brother's a lawyer in Washington, D.C. Right, Tom? Right, Tom? Tom, you out there? He's another one with the name, Colbert. But he gives her a platform to try and rehabilitate herself. Because he's not a comedian. He's Good a job. job, but he's not a comedian. And what's with the, uh, the Dr. Spock here is with him, Mr. Producer? Or Mr. Spock here? Particularly that one year that kind of makes you like Nothing personal. I can make jokes too. Very personal jokes. See that? And I don't need ten writers to do it. Cut three, Mr. Producer. Let's just hit it. Don't be shot, As the white guy in the conversation uh -huh. here, I am, I am neither uh, Jewish nor am I black, and so I have a different... What a stupid... What a stupid... Mr. It's the white guy in the conference. I'm neither Jewish nor black. Go ahead. It seems to me that whiteness is a construct created by colonial powers um, during the beginning of colonial imperi imperialist era in order what to... What the hell are you talking about, moron? You're way out of your lane. You are way out of your lane. You're going the wrong way on a one-way street, bro brother. Whiteness is a construct created by the colonial powers during the beginning of colonial imperialist era in order to exploit other people, that they could apply it to all different kinds of people. The idea of race and American experience tends to be based on skin. Do they have happy hour before this show goes on? I think they do. I'm sure they do. Ladies and gentlemen, we salute our armed forces, police officers, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It is a great honor to come here every evening and be with you. I cannot thank you enough. I'm deeply blessed. We shall get through this together. Please listen to our wonderful hosts, and I will see you on Monday. God bless you. I'm Patrick Corelci. And I'm Adriana Cortez. 